Jones. It was clear the honor of being the first Camel Pro road racing champion would fall to one of three riders. The championship hopefuls, Starfire Racing's Randy Renfro, Wayne Rainey of Team Honda, and defending superbike champ, also from Team Honda, Fred Merkel. Coming into mid-Ohio, Rainey led his teammate in both the Camel Pro and Superbike standings. With the exception of the first round in Daytona, Rainey and Merkel have dominated the Superbike season. Mid-Ohio would prove to be no different. Rainey took the early advantage, but tire problems slowed Rainey, allowing Merkel to get by. Merkel went on to take the win, while Rainey slid off the track for a DNF. Afterwards, Merkel was jumping for joy. Flying Fred left Mid-Ohio, leading both the Superbike and Camel Pro standings. Meanwhile, in Formula One, number 96 Randy Renfro, the third Camel Pro championship hopeful, also received a boost from a competitor's misfortune. Renfro took the Mid-Ohio win and the Formula One championship after early leader Cork Ballington stuffed his number 99 into the hay bales. When Cork fell, I started riding like I was riding in the rain, to tell you the honest truth. I just kept thinking, man, you can't fall down. Don't brake too hard, don't turn too hard, be really careful. And I rode the race very conservatively, and, and uh, luckily it was good enough to win, and, and a win is, is a beautiful thing to get here. And we were close last year, and it's just really neat to get it this year, and it locks up the championship for us. At the final round, the ballington renfro battle continued, but this time it was Renfro in the lead with Ballington in tow. Renfro kept the four-time world champion at bay until the final lap when the crafty South African pulled out the win and destroyed any hopes Renfro had for the Camel Pro title. In Camel Pro road racing, Wayne Rainey will try to pull out the championship in the series finale tomorrow at Road Atlanta. It's been an up-and-down season for the 26-year-old Californian who's well acquainted with bad luck. Three years ago, Rainey won the National Superbike Championship for Kawasaki, but he never got a chance to celebrate. Two days after the, we had won the championship, Gary Mathers, our team manager then, which is also the team manager for Honda now, called up and said, hey, uh, Japan dropped out of, of American uh, Superbike racing and uh, the whole team's going to be out of a job. So I never did really get a chance to think about I was a champion. Instead, I was looking for a job. Rainey ultimately found a high-paying job racing Superbike number 6 for Team Honda. And until last Sunday's race at Mid-Ohio, he was favored to dethrone his teammate, number 1, reigning champion Fred Merkel. But things again went sour for Rainey. It just so happened, the slowest turn on the racetrack, it slid around, and then it caught and threw me off. And um, I just don't know why. Rainey's second crash in his many races handed Merkel an easy win and a new lease on the championship. Rainey falls to second in the standings, and just seven points separate the top three Merkel, Rainey, and Renfro will decide the championship tomorrow at Road Atlanta. With Renfro out of the championship picture, the Camel Pro title would be decided in the Superbike final. In the early going, Rainey traded the lead position with number 34, Kevin Schwantz. The Suzuki rider showed rejuvenated speed in Georgia after playing second fiddle to Honda horsepower throughout the season. The Yoshimura Suzuki was up to the task, but its rider crashed at the three-quarter mark, handing Rainey the win. But all eyes were on flying Fred Merkel, who took second place and the 1986 Camel Pro Road Racing Championship and his third consecutive Superbike title. This means more than all my years of racing. I've been out for 15 years, and... Uh, God bless everybody that helped me out, my family, uh, Pat and Gary Merkel, for putting me up and getting me into racing when I was so young, and uh, I just love loved being here. From Road Atlanta in Brazelton, Georgia, reporting for Motor World, this is Dennis Torres. In U.S. bike road racing, Lynn, you told us last week how we came to have a three-rider battle for the American National Championship. And today, Dave, I'm going to tell you how that battle was decided in the series finale at Road Atlanta. Team Honda's Fred Merkel came in with the points lead in both Superbike and overall Camel Pro standings over his teammate Wayne Rainey. But this year's title chase also counts points from the Formula One class. And that division's newly crowned champ, Randy Renfro, number 96, tried to keep his overall title hopes alive. For 23 of 24 laps, he held a narrow lead over season-long rival number 99, Cork Ballington. But on the last lap, Ballington got the drop on Renfro and beat him by a, l a length. I did the best I could. Coming to the last corner, I scraped the pegs and the fairing and everything. I, I had to lift it up. I, I just leaned over too far. In the Super
Superbike feature, number six, Rainey, had to win, while number one, Merkel, could finish second and still clinch the crown. Instead, 34, Kevin Schwantz, ran second to Rainey, then crashed late in the race. Merkel was stuck behind young John Kozinski and didn't know the Schwantz mishap had made this the battle for that crucial second spot. With a lap to go, Rainey knew he'd won the race and slowed down. Behind him, Merkel finally whipped Kozinski and realized the championship was his. I saw Wayne up in front of me, and I figured something was up, and I got a real big smile on my face, and then it was just a half a lap, half a lap left to go. Merkel's bonuses will total over 100 grand, and that title probably saved his factory contract, which was rumored to be in danger.